all surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Eat of Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be working on one of the walls in my bedroom, specifically the one around the bed. My apartment has really high ceilings, so today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I cover that up in my bedroom. I'm going to start off with the wood that I got from Home Depot. This wood that I got is 70% off because when the guy was making a cut, he made an error, a slight error, and that was why they gave me 70% off, and I took it. Because the error he made won't be seen when I'm done with the project. The 8 foot long wood that I got was cut into two, and then I placed a Walmart mirror in the middle and traced out the shape. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. Now I'm gonna cut a 1 inch foam to size and glue it to the wood. I'm gonna cover two sides of the wood with foam, leaving the middle part for the mirror. I'll be making marks for my tufting and holes on those marks using a pair of scissors. I'm going to cover the foam with batting before I start the tufting. I'll be using a white vinyl for this project. It's just like leather, but only cheaper. The vinyl is super easy to use and easy to maintain as well. Now all I'm going to be doing here is locating where the holes are and using a staple gun to staple it down. I'm cutting out the excess fabric that I have in the middle. After that, I'll glue on the fabric that I have left to the wood. I took the mirror that I want to use outside and spray painted it silver. When it was dry, I attached it to the middle with screws. I will hide the staple pins with crystal buttons.
I will cover the top with bling wrap. I'll be carving the screw heads with gems. This is what the back looks like. Now to mount it on the wall, I'll be using command strips. I made two of this and they will be mounted besides the headboard that I already have. This is the headboard that I made some time ago and I will show you guys a short clip of how I made it and if you're interested in watching the full video, I will leave the link for that in the description box below. This headboard was perfect for my previous apartment because of the size. Now I came to another apartment and the ceilings are really, really high and the headboard looks small. So that was why I made something that was going to be side by side with the headboard that I already have to make it look better. I also worked on the top because like I said, the ceiling is really high. So I decided to use duct tape to make lines on the wall. And I made these lines only at the top. I've had this large picture frame for a while now and I remember why I bought it because it was 50% off and that was a long time ago. Now I have the perfect space for it above the bed. So I took it out and I spray painted just the frame silver. And then because I love the picture that's inside, I'm going to be covering the outer sides and making a border with mirror mosaic tiles and bling wrap. When I was done with this, I kept it aside and then picked up these boxes from the Dollar Tree that I will use for my push lights. I spray painted them silver and attached it to the wood that I used earlier for the mirror and the tufts. I attached the push lights to the bottom of the box and these push lights come with the remotes to make it easy to turn the lights on and off. And here's how the wall for the bed turned out. You will notice that the two designs that I made by the sides are a little bit different from what's in the middle and that's all my fault. I totally forgot that what I used in the middle was 2 inches foam and not a 1 inch foam. Now that didn't make me happy at all but later in the future I will switch it up for 2 inches foam to make it look much better. I'll 
I'll be giving you guys a tour of my bedroom pretty soon when I'm done with the draperies. So stay tuned. I love how this part of my bedroom looks like now and I hope you all enjoyed this video as well. Don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends and families. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that I have arranged in a playlist down in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.